Waking up on this Monday morning to some active weather across the southeast. What we have is a warm front moving to the north, warmer air settling in, and along a line out ahead of that a warm front out ahead of that cold front. We do have some uh, flooding concerns in North Georgia and then some severe storms that are still pushing through ahead of that uh, cold front right there across Mississippi this morning. Right now, any kind of showers that are associated with uh, our area is going to be out ahead of that line. This doesn't include part of the line here. And these showers and storms, non-severe. A lot of that lightning, a lot of the storm activity uh, stays out across uh, Alabama. Most of our area, just seeing some light showers this morning, Valdosta, Adel, uh, and Quincy, Bainbridge, Chattahoochee, all areas that are seen or are about to see a few light showers early this morning. Now as the day progresses and that cold front starts to drive through, that's where we're going to find some threats of some damaging wind. That's mostly for all of us. An isolated tornado can't be rolled out along the Florida Georgia line and then South Georgia later today. So that's going to be something we're just watching out for as that line approaches. Timing of that is going to be a little bit more uh, complex because we do have this cold front has been driving through. As the sun comes up, we get a little bit more energy. Some of that activity, especially across our west, and that's the western panhandle, basically Panama City and west of that. Uh, that could be where we see some stronger storms uh, for the early morning hours. But right around our tri-state area, southwest side of the Big Bend, we're looking more at the timing, and this has been updating all morning, 11 a.m. to about noon. And then 2 to 4, central and uh, southeast parts of the Big Bend and South Georgia start to see that storm activity pushing out of here by 6. So we're going to keep a really close eye on this timing. Obviously, that's very important to us as we head into the next few days. Until then, just do expect some active weather for this afternoon.